Hello and welcome back to my channel Being Rocky. Today we'll be preparing some Ramadan iftar and I'll be cooking with someone special. So let me introduce to you Salma Haq, who is Go ahead, introduce yourself. Assalamualaikum, my name is Salma Haq. I am a local Instagram food blogger. I create different food content online via Instagram. Um, little recipes, vlogs, tutorials, baking. Um, you can find me at Salma Haq on Instagram. And I'm honored to be cooking in the kitchen today with being Rocky. We're preparing a little uh, iftar, uh, breaking, breaking our fast bowls. <laughs> so little masjid iftar bowls. Uh, when you go to a masjid, the typical thing we always look forward to, or at least for me, going to a Guyanese masjid is always that selection of chana, bara, palari, with the sours and the chutney. So, in the kitchen with Rocky today. Alright, so let's start cooking. <laughs> yes. All right, so first off, we start in with our bara. We have two and a half cup of regular flour and a half a cup of bread flour. So we're gonna toss that into the bowl. Salman's gonna do that. Do you wanna tell them why you're using bread flour? Um, bread flour, I find bread flour don't soak up a lot of oil, so I'll always put a little bit of it. I'm not perfect with the measurement, so I keep trying. So that's the reason why. <laughs> and then we got we're using, we're not using the regular dal, we got like the baro mix. So I got, it's not that potent, so I got like one cup of the baro mix. And this is for me because I always do it instant. I know Rocky always uses uh, grind dal, so in honor of me, we're using a little baro yes. mix today. We have one tablespoon dry yeast. Yeah. This is rapid rice yeast. Yes, rapid. We got one tablespoon baking powder. I got one tablespoon pink salt. It's not, a lot of people say it's a lot of salt, but it's not, so it's just. It's a big bar of that. Yes. <laughs> and uh, one teaspoon of turmeric. Or for those who say turmeric. Turmeric, yes. <laughs> so that's the dry ingredients. So what we're gonna do now, I'm gonna blend some I got like 10, 10 cloves of garlic, some shallow, and I'm gonna do like two real, real pepper. So let's get start blending. So we're gonna blend up shallow or scallions. I'm gonna put two real, real pepper and like, yeah, fresh from the garden and then garlic. So that's the wet ingredients. Yeah, that's the wet ingredients. I'm just gonna put a little bit of water in here. to get the rest. Yes. Put this here. Oh, that smells really good. The garlic. Really good pepper and yeah. garlic and shallow is really good. Today is a little Ramadan special because that stuff that we grew up breaking our fast eating. It was always to break our fast and eat like chana and the flari with all the sour and stuff. So we're, we, we are recreating that today. Um, and of course, with dates and a cup of tea. Tea, yeah. yeah. Chai tea. Chai tea, yes. yes. So thank you guys all who have joined. Um, it's exciting today in the kitchen. So, so far, like I said, we've just mixed the bara mixture here. It's just the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients, and then we'll keep going. So throw in any questions that you may have, and we'll just keep going. Yeah. Um, Auntie Sherry, Ro uh, Rocky's lovely wife, is recording. So she's the camera woman behind all of his videos. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so just mixing all of the dry ingredients with the wet ingredients. Yes. And for dry ingredients, we've used flour, bread flour, and Rocky has advised that using bread flour, it doesn't soak up so much of the oil when you fry it. Uh, Turmeric, salt, baking powder. And he 
yeast. And yeast. And like me, I don't measure. <laughs> so Rocky is the same way too. <laughs> um, but yeah. And then for wet ingredients, we've used scallion, garlic, and pepper. and pepper, and a little bit of water. We can try and put together somewhat of like um, a quick ingredient list can't guarantee and promise measurements, but if you want measurements, I can always link you to um, other uh, great guiding bloggers who have bar recipes with actual measurements. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, so what else we've got going on? So that's the way it looks now. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna add some warm water. And that's gonna help the yeast rise. The, yeah, help the yeast to rise a little bit. Let me grab the cup real sure. quick. Um, grocery shopping, how's that all coming along? Back to the bar mixing. <laughs> so here we go. A little bit of warm water. Warm water. Yes. I should actually be helping you, but yes. for the time being, I'm just gonna hold the phone <laughs> yeah. for the live. <laughs> well, once we start cooking, you're gonna do most of the calorie because I'm not that good with that. So <laughs> we'll do it together. Yes. But yeah. All I know is that growing up, whenever you go to any of those matches, you were always greeted with that styrofoam bowl. Chana, Polari, Bara, Mango Sour, Tamarind Sour, Dates, and Tea. <laughs> so that's what we're trying to recreate here today. Yeah, so he's just adding the warm water to the dry ingredients and the wet ingredients and whipping up and mixing it all together. So yeah, I feel like I'm in a celebrity kitchen here today. <laughs> in Rocky's kitchen. <laughs> building some muscle, whipping it up. And this is quintessential, you have to like whip the air into yeah. into the mix because that's what creates it to be light Fluff, and fluffy. fluffy yeah. yes. Once it hits the oil. Yeah. Some good uh, muscle arm work there. <laughs> <laughs> let, it, let, yeah. it, let it rise and rest. Yeah. We've got our pot with the oil just waiting there. In the meantime, uh, we have our cut of mango, waiting to make mango sour. That's on our menu item list here today. Oh, sorry. Mango sour there, pot of oil. We're moving along fast here because as I'm on live watching him, we're also in the midst of recording for his channel too. Yes, it is a good workout. That bar whipping is a good workout yes, though. It is. I don't know how people do this. Prepare bar while they're fasting. <laughs> That's a good uh, workout. Water ready to put in the mango. Yes. Put out the garlic, pepper. Yeah, we got some garlic, same garlic. Now I'm gonna let you choose a pepper because I don't know how you want it. I don't mind. <laughs> I don't mind the spice. And these are peppers picked straight from your garden this morning, yes. right? So I'm hoping I'm gonna just take this one because I like how it looks. <laughs> it's a nice dainty pepper. And this one. <laughs> so two of it. Two peppers. Okay. Put it in the pot. It's already washed. And uh, garlic. Yeah, how garlic do you like it? By the clove. Well, I'm your sous chef today, so you. So, you okay. know as how, as so how you know. What I do is I average the mango. Mm -hmm. So say we do like. Seven, six, seven of it. Okay. So yeah. six or seven based on the amount of mango that we have here. Once they get hot, just add like a teaspoon of vinegar. Of vinegar. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's not what we normally use. The, uh, you know, everybody has the Heinz white vinegar. We're using some nice cooking vinegar today. Here it is. Peel mango to it. Mm -hmm. And this is the beginning mm -hmm. stages of making mango salad. So in that boiling water, we have the pepper and the garlic, and adding the mango now. And to that, are you adding anything else? We're gonna add some vinegar and some salt to taste. Vinegar and salt. Yeah. So that's the mango sour. Bar dough is covered and resting. 
and then we'll just continue on. But also on our list, we are making henna, polari, and tempering, tempered sour as well too. So. And of course, tea. So that'll be a healthy yeah, I think I'm gonna hop off and then I'll keep um keep updating right, So I got my bar mix there. I'm gonna let it rest for like four or five minutes to an hour. And then we're gonna get started frying. Yeah, so I add a little bit of water. Smell good, right? Mm -hmm. Alright, next up, so we've got our bar resting, mango sour complete. We're working on our polari now. So I'm chef, sous chef now for this. <laughs> <laughs> I'm the sous chef. With Salma helping. Yeah. I'm a helping hand. So I'm making my mom proud today and actually using real doll as opposed to doll flour. <laughs> but we are going to blend, um, I want to say this is maybe about a cup or so of um, whole doll. Or, yeah, so. And then, yeah, then we soaked over overnight um, and the doll now is softened as well, so we're going to add that to the blender. Um, and then. Blend with the doll, adding in the garlic. So the garlic will also add a little bit of liquid to it as well. Um, and then the pepper, all three peppers. I'm just taking a little bit of stem from the peppers. I know they always say it's like a guy in superstition. You never had person pepper. <laughs> 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 <We're> <laughs> fight. So we don't want to fight. So, yeah. we'll do that. so we're just gonna blend this together. I'm gonna add a little bit of water. So we'll blend the doll, the garlic, and the pepper. A little tip of water. Um, and then once this is blended some more, we'll then carry on and adding in the dry ingredients. Okay, nowadays making flour is so easy. Back in the days, soak the dal, grind it with the milk. Remember <laughs> that, right? Yeah. Attach it to the countertop. Attach it to the countertop. Mm -hmm. And this is grind, it still has it still has a little chunk of the doll, so it's still kind of grainy. So I'm just pouring out all the grind up doll with the garlic and the pepper, a little bit of water into the bowl, and then we'll keep adding in the uh, dry ingredients. There you go. So we've got our blended doll in the bowl, and to this now we're gonna add all the dry ingredients. So um, for me starting with the dye or the turmeric. I know not a lot of people like to add too much seasoning. Well, I do, and I learned now that you do as well too. A little bit of jeera. Um, I'm gonna say that each of these are about a tablespoon for anybody looking for measurements. And the two tablespoons of baking powder, and then on top of all of that, yeast. So the baking powder and the yeast are the um, rising agents for the polari that's gonna make it fluffy and rise as it sets. And then. To this, we're, I have two cups of flour, but we're going to gradually start adding it together into it. So, starting off maybe like, I don't know, little spoonfuls at a time. <laughs> I'm just gonna start mixing all the dry ingredients first and then slowly streaming in my water because I don't want it to be like too wet. So just kind of averaging as I go. I feel like average is like the standard measurement for any guy needs cooking. Yeah, yeah guy needs cooking. You have to see it and feel it, and then you kind of understand and know when it's ready to go. Mm -hmm. so for me, flour is still kind of like wet, but not like too wet. Mm -hmm. So after averaging a little bit of the flour and some water, we've come the right consistency. I'm going to cover it and leave it to set, allowing the yeast to rise, the baking powder to soak up that doll, and just letting it set before we start frying it. So we're cheating a little bit today. We're using the tamarind paste. We're gonna make a little bit of tamarind sour. We have the regular tamarind, but it's gonna take a little bit of time to peel it out. So we're gonna do this. We're gonna make our tamarind sour with the tamarind paste. We got some water boiling. Once this comes to a boil, we're gonna put this in a bowl with some hot water, cover it off, and then we're gonna add later on a little bit of garlic, a little bit of cut up of pepper. 
Toss one then. Time for it. Hot water. Toss it in there. Nice. Go ahead. Yeah, that's good. Good. Just in case we need more, we just add it back on. There we go. Cover this. I'll let that soak and set for a bit. Yes. Look at our bottle mix. See how much it turned? Until he swelled. He swelled up good. Fry and tie now. So I put a little coconut oil on my hand, not water. Rocky said that they swell up so much because um, we kind of let it rise for a little too long. Yeah. But that's still nice. It's nice, fluffy, pillowy bar. This is nice to break fast any day of the week. <laughs> and that's it for the bar. Right. So, sous chef, darn it, pillowy day, almost done. Almost done. Almost done with that. Nice and golden brown. Scoopy. Mm -hmm. well, my and sour, I got one tablespoon of salt, one tablespoon brown sugar. I got some garlic, which I'm gonna. I'm not gonna chip up, I'm just gonna braid it in there. or light cheese, we like to call it. Adding that to the water that already has um, a few tea bags. And to that, also adding in a few cloves. Um, let's say about three or four cloves, adding that in there. A piece of star anise. A little bit of anise. The so star anise and anise. <laughs> and then also a cinnamon stick. So that's gonna get our chai going together. Um, and then once that comes up to a boil, or once it's a little, like a soft simmer, um, we'll add in the milk and then bring that all up to a boil. A few scoops of brown sugar to the milk, spices in the tea bags with a little bit of water. And we are just going to let that all come to a boil and have that milk frothed up to the top. The chai is coming up nice. So I'm frying up my channel. I got a little jeera or cumin, car powder, cilantro, onion, garlic, and a little bit of pepper. Straining the chai. Got our fancy teapot here. Strainer over top and just labeling it in. So the strainer will catch all the whole spices and all the goodness of the chai into the teapot.
Some people like tea more milky, some people prefer it dark. We like it more on the black tea one. Well, our iftar feast is done. We've got dates, bara, flurry, or chai, and chana ready to go. Fancy, nice dishes. Um, nostalgic of breaking our fast in Ramadan. All we need now is the azan, and then we can get to it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, from my family to yours, Ramadan Mubarak. Hope everyone has a blessed Ramadan. And uh, may Allah accept from our fast and our good deeds from this month. Thank you, Rocky, for having me. And thank you for being here with me. And we're going to share this little iftar that we prepare. Like I said, thanks for the help preparing the bara and the chana and the polori. <laughs> yeah. Now we get to feast. So let's start eating. Yes. And Ramadan Mubarak, thank you for watching my video. Please like and subscribe.